A crisis of car thefts racing across the country. We are one of the people hit in Long Beach. And revving up right here in Southern California. With our car taken right out in front of our home. Now an exclusive KCAL News investigation. That was this morning it got stolen. Revealing exactly how bad it's become. I've had my car stolen before. This is the second time? Yeah. And looking at what LAPD has and has not done. There are people that think that you've given up. While thousands upon thousands of cases remain unsolved. Where is this on the priority of LAPD? Are you concerned? Do you feel that LAPD has failed? Well, there have been failures in most major cities across the country. Car thefts are up, but arrests remain incredibly low. Well, senior reporter Ross Palumbo has some of the eye-opening numbers that show how low. That's something you'll only see on KKL News, Ross. Well, we found out that L.A. has the most car thefts of any major city just last year. 6,000 more than the next closest city, Chicago. And when it comes to catching those responsible, L.A. is only bringing in a tiny fraction, and it's only getting worse. A big surprise in a city where cars mean everything. Seeing a little bit of traffic heading into downtown. Here at the very heart of American car culture, from the beautiful hills to busy downtown to the beaches, the ride along Los Angeles Road has gotten oh, oh, my goodness. bumpy. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, Infamous whoa. car chases, countless flashing lights, fevered caught on camera moments, and all of it driven by. How in parking in the regular public street? One. Lights come on and they pull off. Crime. Like two hours and the truck, the truck was gone. The Valle family was praying in church when thieves spotlighted their Tacoma truck, stealing it from right outside their home. And we were so angry because this is so fast. It definitely hurts. And the pain has been growing for years. Our analysis, in fact, of more than four years of Los Angeles data shows that the number of thefts has jumped into overdrive. From nearly 16,000 in 2019 to more than 21,000 in 2020, to more than 24,000 in 2021, to more than 25,500 in 2022. To put that last year into perspective, that total number of vehicles is nearly double the amount that can fit in here into Dodger Stadium when this lot is completely full. 25,500 cars and trucks were stolen. Wow. Honestly, I'm shocked. You know the pain that, it, that you feel, and then you think, how, these many people are going through the same thing that I am around my community? I mean, it's thousands of lives. Thousands of lives. And thousands have been left in park, living without their vehicles. We found the percentage of cases cleared or solved from 2019 through September of this year has fallen from 11% down to 6%. Arrests have fallen from 7% down to 5%, lower than four major cities we sampled, including San Francisco. And they're not just numbers, but a mind-numbing reality for Aldo Valle. The police, they were honest. They're like, you know, it's very likely that we're not gonna find it. The police told you that? Yes. Were you shot? I was, I, I was like, what? Am I gonna go find the truck myself? I think that's, that's absolutely disgusting. Chris Clark was so disgusted with his Range Rover getting stolen. As you can see the uh, perpetrators. And with how LAPD was handling it. They were kind of sluggish and joking around about my car being stolen. That he actually did find it himself and drove down to Mexico to repossess it. So you took matters into your own hands? Yes. But you didn't think they could get it back for you? No, I, I not at all. I, I didn't think they were going to try. Have you just given up? We have not given up in any sense. Chief Michael Moore says tens of thousands of unsolved auto thefts is concerning, but with 6.4 million vehicles owned in Los Angeles, he also believes it is not out of control. Well, first, I wouldn't call it an epidemic of car, of car thefts. It's not an epidemic. It's not an epidemic. Is it a crisis? It's not, it's a, it's a, it's a significant concern. His larger concern is actually with the contributing factors of zero bail, lower prosecutions, fewer real consequences, and diminishing resources. When auto thefts started to rise in 2019, he had more than 10,000 officers. Today, LAPD is down to 9,000. Civilian staff has also dropped from 3,300 to 2,600. We've lost hundreds of people. 
right? A thousand personnel. But despite those dramatic declines, the chief insists there are some measurable gains. You don't think it's getting worse? I think it's, right now it's getting better than it was last year. This year we are seeing about a 5% reduction from last year's numbers, but we're still in excess of 60% higher in auto thefts today than we were in 2019. And there's two major manufacturers that, are, that make up more than 60% of that increase, and that's Kia mm -hmm. and Hyundai. When you pull out of this gate every day, knowing the numbers, it's daunting. It's a daunting task, yes it is. Daunting because patrols have had a head-on collision with a new security hack. What's going on here? He found this car. TikTok users had demonstrated a high-tech way to target some Kias and Hyundais. Sure. So let's see what he has. Issues that those car makers are now responding so to. With this one, it looks like they did is pulled some of the uh, underpinnings underneath the steering column, mm -hmm. and they just went in that way. Now, low-tech patrols and good old-fashioned boots on the ground are bringing in results. So they've changed their methods, they've changed their tactics, so have we. We'll try and pay attention to the spots that we know become magnets for stolen cars. This so is this is a hot spot. Yeah. They've learned vehicles stolen in different parts of the city spread out evenly here in red across Los Angeles wind up recovered in a few of these same isolated hot spots like East LA, Inglewood, and right where this one was found near Watts. That car was found from just doing this, from just driving around. From, and from, from, from exactly what we're doing right now. That is driving in thousands of recoveries. Last year, they recovered a majority of stolen vehicles, 83%. Could this be stolen? It could be stolen. But that number is actually down as well after recovering 90% of them in 2019. What's it gonna take to get these numbers now? It's gonna take a, a concerted effort. The best technology that you have these two eyes and experience you're able to find things that the normal person might not see they do see some success but admit it's still small I'm trying to stop the bleeding sometimes rather than just yeah. just heal the wound altogether this is the best outcome yeah. for a victim once it's stolen so, yeah unless right you, here. yes gaining even an inch left victim Lee Tran feeling that LAPD did go the extra mile for him. And that was this morning it got stolen? Yeah. Luckily the cops found it today. So pretty quick. Yeah, I didn't I didn't expect him to find it today. But with so many thefts, so few results, even as he counts his blessings. I'm pretty lucky comparatively to other people. Some still don't expect miracles. I was angry at the time. I was I was pissed. Some are praying their odds will change. It's very frustrating at the moment. And some are left reflecting yeah. on faith. Do you think you're ever, ever going to get these numbers under control? I have hope. The numbers seem bad, but the job that we're still trying to do, I think, goes a long way. They see that we're actively still trying. One at a time. One at a time, one person at a time, one call at a time. That's all we can do, and we're not going to, we're not going to stop. And thieves don't appear to be stopping either, but they may be slowing down a little bit. So far this year, we've had just more than 17,000 vehicle thefts. That's actually trending down a little bit from last year. Remember, the chief says two-thirds of thefts are Kias and Hyundais. Kia told us, quote, we are continuing to strongly encourage eligible customers to have their software upgraded that we developed and rolled out earlier this year installed. Kia is also offering steering wheel locks for cars not eligible for the upgrade. And Hyundai told us our dealers across the country are maximizing the number of anti-theft software installations that can be performed on a daily basis, contributing to steadily increasing completion rates. Chief Moore does believe that prevention is the single biggest impact. Well, you know, we know that knowledge is prevention, so we actually could have our own. That's right. right. You need to know what's happening in your neighborhood. So we've actually created some interactive maps. If you go to kcalnews.com right now, you can zoom right into your own front doorstep and see how close mm. the last car was stolen. And you can see how close you are to a recovery spot. So if you see cars that look abandoned on the street, you can also help police by phoning those in and helping other people recover their stolen cars. All right. So we're good neighbors. Yeah. Be that mm -hmm. All right. Good work, Ross. Thank you. Thank you. All right.